Hi guys and welcome to the Savvy Professor and in today's video we are going to find out how to print from Airtable. So if you are an Airtable user and you want to print anything from Airtable, simply open your project in Airtable. So this is my project that says marketing campaign tracking. Here I have a lot of options. I have created these views in my Airtable. Here are grid, form, calendar, gallery and much more. So I have created this grid view for example. And this is my project and if I want to print this, I will have a lot of options to export this. You will have to simply select your project. So I'm selecting results or I can select campaigns. So I'm selecting this project and here select any one of these views and just simply go to that view and click on this drop down menu right here. After that, we'll see a lot of options in this drop down menu. That is collaborative, assign a personal view, rename, edit, duplicate, copy and download CSV. And also at the last, we have the option to print view. So we'll have to click on print view. After that, we'll have these print settings. Here you will have to basically add the paper size. If you click on this button, you will have a drop down menu. You can select the size of your paper. So if it's a tabloid paper, for example, tabloid newspaper or anything related to that, you can select that. If it is a legal statement or report, select legal. If it is just simple statement, select this one. If it's executive or folio, you can select between these. If you want to print these settings, not just according to the work, but only with the paper size, you will have these options. You can select the paper size to be A3, A4, A5, B4 and B5. Most of the time, people select A4 paper and use it for print settings. So I'm selecting A4. And in the layout, you'll have to click on this drop down menu and you will have two options, portrait and landscape. If you click on portrait, your view settings will be just like this pop up window. So your page will appear like this and the print and the final print will be in the portrait view. If you select landscape, your final print will be like this landscape view of my PC. So it will be basically wider at horizontal axis, not on the vertical axis. So landscape looks like that. In the field sizing, the actual size or fit to page width. You can select any one of these according to your preferences. In the font size, you can select normal, large, extra large, small or extra small according to your project needs. And you can select add view name as title. You can select include row numbers and columns. If you deselect this, you will have disabled the row numbers and colors in that print form. So make sure you enable this if you need it. And you can also wrap long text onto additional lines as needed by selecting this option. And you can also create completely custom print layouts with page designer extension. If you click on this page designer extension, you will have this pop up appearing at your window. You can click on add extension and this extension will be added into your browser. And here you can easily create a page design using this feature on your website or PC. And this will be the basic tutorial for you on how to create that page designer extension on your Airtable. You can cut it if you don't need it. And after filling out all the informations, click on print and this will bring us into our print settings on our PC. Here we can see that the print has four sheets of paper. The destination is Microsoft print to PDF. You can click on save as PDF if you want to save it as PDF form view. Select the pages per sheet and you can also add the margins in this view. If you want to add custom margins, select custom and make sure you edit these margins according to your project needs. After doing out all these settings, click on save and this will open this prompt asking us where to save this data. So I'm selecting desktop and click on save. And this file will be basically saved as PDF and will be printed if any printer is connected to your PC. And after doing and following all these steps, you will have successfully printed form in Airtable. So that's how we can do it. Like and subscribe if you found this video helpful.